Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create interface wires like I did it on my channel. Um, I will show you at the end how you can color them too. It's not really hard. Um, yeah. So, let's start. Go to Photoshop and make a new layer. We want to create something like that. And at the end it will look like this. Um, here, let's start. Use the rectangular tool and make a rectangular. I don't know if I spelled this word right. Rectangular. Um, here, paint packet tool and color it black. So, um, deselect and now go on to the planning options add a normal shadow distance zero spread um, oops um, spread from between 20 and 30 um, I will make 23 size 5 between 5 and 8 I use 6 um, then go to gradient overlay and what's that? Um, <laughs> here, uh, make the both ends black. Then at the first uh, next thing, um, you must find out the positions by yourself. Um, make it a lighter black. A really dark gray. Um, at the next one, and make it lighter. And next, back to dark again. Um, and the next, make really light, a light gray. I mean, here you must find out the positions by yourself. Um, make it how you like. You can make this all lighter, then you have a light wire at the end. Um, or you can make it darker than that. But here you can make it how you want it. Um, you must find out the positions by yourself. I show you how you can make it. But at the end you must uh, find it out by yourself. So, uh, make the next one darker again, but normal gray. And the last one you add, make it a really dark gray. And the last is black. <laughs> so, I have uh, this one. And now we go and add this white um, glossy things at the sides of it, the borders. So. Here, make new layer, use the rectangular tool again, and just select the border. Um, paint bucket tool and color it white. Um, then create a layer mask, click. Yeah. Click into the layer mask, use the gradient tool and make it from make it from black to transparent. Now use it make it that the ends are really black and only in the middle is white. So I think that's enough. Um, duplicate it and move it to the right side. Here, um, that's it. Um, here, merge all these layers. I want to duplicate them 
and merge it. So this three we wanna here you can wait. Uh, this three we wanna deselect, and here now you have this one. Um, oops, duplicate it, um, put it next to the first one you created, and then you can go uh, and put it that it looks at the end uh, like this one. So um, this has behind this wire it is black so I wanna create more of them and wanna show you how you can create this black uh, background of it here just I will add up to there is something else well um, I think this is the difficult part of all because at the end it must look great and it should have roundness and sometimes I don't get this roundness um, yeah you have to make it right and then it looks good at, at the end and just add here I will stop now. I will here. You can uh, make this one longer and longer and longer, like I do now. And I can show you. Goes faster. So, um, yeah, you see, here I have long, like I did it here, and then here the roundness. And the roundness is the difficult thing on all. And here, so I want to add three more, two more. So that's enough. Yeah, come on, come on. So um, now you have a part of this wire. I made this thing. Um, then use the brush tool make it to the size uh, what you have here um, I will use 100 it's the size I made here here go to the brush options and add shape dynamics close the brush options and now I know that I I wasn't wrong. First, uh, merge all wire parts. So you merge them all. Uh, go back to the brush tool. Put, make a new layer and put the new layer under your wires. So now you can add this black background of the wire. So now you have here it stands a little bit uh, it's a little bit too much use the eraser um, size up to make it 60 and now delete this one and at the sides you can delete it as well when you have made too much so that's it now you have your layer at the end you can merge this both things um, now I want to show you how you can color them I'll show them this wire use the brush tool again um, make a new layer uh, this one should be over the wires um, a soft brush tool and the color I want to make it red so go along the wire so you can fill it really good
good. Yep. Now just create clipping mask. You also can do it when you press Alt and press uh, and click between these both layers. Now you have the clipping mask. So you change the uh, blending mode for this layer to overlay. Now it's colored, and you can um, put it down to 50, the opacity down to 50 or 30 that you have, or let it on 100. How you like it? I will put it down to 50. Looks better. Um, here you can make this with all colors, um, with all wires. It's really easy to color them, and at the end you can use them on the background. Um, or whatever you want on a wallpaper oops wallpaper or yeah you have many options you can use it um, but yeah that was my first interface tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and um, if you want to see more from interface um, just leave a comment or mes message me um, I can't do all interface, um, I can do interface orb, but uh, MDC has a tutorial of interface orb, so I wanted to make a tutorial that uh, no one is using. Um, the, oh, um, this wire tutorial made uh, another one, um, I think Cracky Spider. Um, I will leave a link in the description of the video because I have this. Uh, this uh, from him I inspired me and um, he made a tutorial um, but I think no one is watching that um, I saw it and uh, here please subscribe to him or leave him a like um, and here just comment or message me for more tutorials or like this video um, thanks for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe. Thank you, bye.